Hi guys, uh, exponential function uh, today. Okay, exponential function. Well, y equals two to the power of x. That's exponential. Okay, so that's the base. It is the base of two. Sometimes it's e, sometimes three. It can be anything, but we'll try, we'll, we'll look mainly working with two because it's nice and easy. Okay, so exponential function. So it is monotonic increase. The characteristic of the exponential function is prov providing always positive value okay if this is negative we don't need to care about that okay if it's, if it's negative is it coming up coming down here because depending on x value okay but we, we don't we don't need to worry, worry about that at all uh, the other uh, the characteristics of this graph is always passing the y intercept of one which is if x equal to zero it is one okay so that that's the situation so what's happening here? If the part of the four x, okay, so the bigger the base, okay, the steeper the graph, okay. So if the base is bigger than two, it becomes steeper, but it still passes the same y-intercept, okay. And then the other one, if you do negative, okay, x changes to negative. So the rule is this one: the power x changes to negative x, it is flip to the x-axis, sorry, y-axis. If everything changes, y is changing to negative y, then flip to the x-axis, okay? So that's the rule. So you have to be careful about this one, right? So, and then same thing, if it's based on two, uh, based on four, so four is greater, which means it is steeper, okay? Okay, question 17. Okay, with times a power of two, okay, it's power of two. Well, it will be steeper. It, it will definitely be steeper. How how you understand that? The two to the two x here is two to the two to the power of x, which becomes four x, which is the same graph, uh, you know, as we saw in the in the example previously. So it will be this one. Okay, too easy. Okay. Right. So that was question seventeen. 18 okay with times 2 okay so whatever no matter what whatever value the value becomes double so how you understand that any value here okay this was y value coming from power you know 2 to the power of x graph so with times 2 for everywhere so it will be here double so this point transformed to here and anywhere here because of these two one two here so this point moves up with the same distance. So any, anywhere here, same, same here. So we, we're gonna join them, it will be that sort of graph. Can you see that? Exactly, okay? As you, as you can in the, in the board. Nineteen, say negative for whole graph, which is this case, okay? Negative whole graph, it is flipped to the x-axis. So it's so flipped to the x-axis, okay? And then, Negative and negative, so these two things happen at the same time. So what I like to do, sketch y equals negative first, okay? So I take it down, and then put neg negative to the x. So it will flip to the y-axis here. So that's the graph. It is a basically uh, rotate symmetry, okay? So uh, this point goes here, this point goes here, this point goes here, okay? It's a kind of point symmetry. Okay. Twenty one. Sketch the graph of zero point five. Say zero point five x can be rewritten. Say two to the minus one x two to the negative x. So what do you do? X sign sign of x is changing here. So flip to the y axis. Okay, as you can see here. So flip to the y axis. Okay? Too easy. 22, okay? So this is the graph for 0 0.5 to the power of x. So x is changing from positive to negative. This rule applies, okay? So move, move to the, uh, the right-hand side, okay? 23, yes, negative in front, which is this case. So it is going down, easy? So as long as you, you understand the principle, this is just a piece of cake. 24. Okay, this is a transformation. 
x equals to x minus 1 equals 0, then x equals to z, uh, x equals to number 1. So it is transformed to the right hand side by 1. Okay, so any point here is moving 1. Any point moving 1. Moving 1. Yeah, okay, so like this one. So this distance is moving 1. Is one. Every time that distance always 1. Constantly 1. Okay, so that's 24. 25. Okay, in 25, minus 1. So taking it down, okay? So taking it down by 1 over here. But in this case, you have to sketch the asymptote here. Well, in here, the previously the, the graph, in, uh, graph in white, it, is keep, it keeps on approaching to the x-axis. So x-axis was uh, an asymptote. But it, if it's going down by 1, the so asymptote also moving down. So that is the asymptote here. So what's the equation of the asymptote? y equals to negative 1. Okay? So it, you must sketch the asymptote in the exam. Right, so that is 25, 26. Okay, you need to do twice. So firstly, we're going to sketch 2x plus 1. What's the transformation? It's transformed to the left-hand side by 1, okay? So transform the left-hand side by 1. So this point moves here, says negative 1. Any point moves negative 1, any point to negative 1 here, okay? This is just a completely uh, left-hand side. And this one is taken down by one, okay? So the yellow graph will go down by one, okay? Underneath it. So that is the answer. And then don't forget to do the asymptotes because it's taken down by one, okay? Okay, so we just did uh, complete the, the basic understanding of the graph of the exponential graph, okay? So not really difficult part of the graph. You know, as long as you can see 1.1, 1 .1, all of the questions are not really, really uh, the f uh, extension to mathematics like. They are just a mixture of 3 unit and 4 unit thingy. Okay? So, but the 1.1 1 .1 topic, or all of the tutorial, will give you fundamental of the sketch, the graph. Okay? So you're not going to miss anything at all. Alright guys, I'll see you at the next lesson.